Okay, so now that we're watching when these views are added to the stage, and then we're creating a mediator based on the mediator map, the view that's mapped to that particular mediator, uh, let's start setting up an injection, uh, like middle, little fake injection framework thing. Um, and just a reminder, this is just example code demonstrating how this stuff works, not how you should actually use it within a framework. Uh, this, these should all be separated into classes with their own responsibilities. I'm just showing you kind of the inner workings in the most uh, compact and consolidated way possible. So uh, on to injections. So the way we're going to use injection here is we're going to uh, swap out um, you know, dot view equals target with something that will check to see if this has a view on it and then assign it to the target. So we'll just get rid of this here. Um, and then the what we need to use is something called describe type. If you've never used this before, what this is going to do, we'll call this a mediator description. What this is going to do is provide us with some XML that describes the mediator that we've created. Um, it's going to describe the public properties and the uh, and the public me methods and you know everything that's exposed by the mediator. So if we do a mediator description uh, to string, you'll see that I'm just going to comment on, on register so it doesn't uh, throw an error you'll see that once we trace this out, that we have view mediator is the, uh, is the mediator that we found, and it has a variable with a name of view and a type of view. So if you look in our view mediator, you'll see that we have view mediator name view and its type is view. So let's set up our uh, metadata injection tags. Um, I'll show you how to use these in just one second, but I also want to change this hello world to be a uh, injected as well. So let's do, we'll rename this real quick to message and get rid of the string hello world. All right, so we'll inject the message as well. So instead of having hello world being set, it'll be injected by whatever's mapped to um, the string type. So if we look at this one more time, uh, we look at wh what describe type gives us, you'll now see that we have a message, which is a type of string as well. But you'll also notice that we don't have anything letting us know whether it's marked with inject metadata or whether it's just, uh, or whether it's not marked for injection at all. And what you actually have to do here is go into your compiler settings and use a compiler argument called uh, keep as3 metadata um, and this will be plus equals inject. Uh, you can find your compiler options in uh, Flash Builder and FTT and, and whatnot within probably your project properties, project preferences. There'll be something called additional compiler options or variables or something. Uh, basically, this is telling the compiler to keep uh, inject metadata, obviously keep base 3 metadata uh, inject. So now when we run this again, you'll see this changes a little bit and we, we will have the metadata available. So we know that a message is a string and it's also marked with inject. So we can use that to know what we want injected and what we don't want injected. So to start with that, uh, we'll first start by mapping, or we'll set up an, I'll just call it an injector map. So this will be another dictionary. Um, we'll just call this injector map. Um, so our injector map, and we'll map string to I'm injected. So now we have an injector map set up, and uh, it's mapping string to I'm injected. So we can use that to inject into our uh, mediator. And this just takes a little bit of um, E4X knowledge. So we're going to loop through the variables. Uh, so each of the variables we find, 
we'll do a for each of our name it variable in mediator uh, mediator description dot variable so mediator description dot variable is going to return uh, both this variable and this one and we'll you know, loop through them so for each of those that we find uh, if the variable uh, metadata uh, the attribute name so for those of you following along for variable metadata attribute name and we'll check if it's equal to inject it's the string inject then if that is uh, the metadata is inject then we will inject the value that we find so uh, we'll go back to our mediator that we've created and we will look up the variable uh, and this time we're just going to get the name again so it'll loop through the variables and get the name attribute first one being message next one being view and then we will look up the uh, variable and this time the type so the message type is string and the message uh, uh, and the view type is view uh, but also since that this is a string we have to use the same trick we used before um, called get definition by name and we'll name this let's see let me do that again so if we do get definition by name the variable type um, and we'll just call this uh, type definition it's generic enough and type definition and we're actually going to use this type definition to look up um, the what it is in the injector map so with our injector map Uh, we will find what these types are. Now, I know I bounced around quite a bit here, so I just want to do a quick review of what's going on um, for each of the properties on the view mediator that are marked with inject. We will loop through each of those properties, variable and variable. We'll find the ones that are marked as inject. We will then find um, the type and look up the type in our injector map, and that is done uh, right here whoops so look up the type in our injector map and we have to use that get different de get definition by name trick because this is a string and we have to get the you know the string class object rather than the string uh, string uh, and from there we're going to assign the mediator variable name so th this is a string and using array annotation we can just assign the variable name to that type that we find within the injector map. So if we also, since once this is added, once the uh, view is added to the stage, we have to put that in the injector map as well um, and make sure that um, the definition by name uh, is assigned to the target so now uh, you know this will be view and this will be uh, assigned back to the target uh, the instance of view and so that way that can be injected as well all right so let's debug this one and if everything worked out all right we should see i'm injected uh, so i just want to review this one more time just because i know it's a bit crazy uh, to follow along what's going on here so we're injecting I'm injected as a string into the injector map and then because the view mediator has this message and the type is string and it's marked with the inject metadata, metadata which then again um, we're told that we're going to keep the inject metadata we can look that up by describing the mediator with describe type that'll give us a an XML 
and we can use that XML to look through all of the variables or all the methods or anything else that uh, it shows. And we'll look through all the variables and we'll check to see if that variable metadata, the name of the metadata is inject. If it is, then we will um, look up the variable type, get the class of it using get definition my name. And then from that type definition, we will again look back to the injector map and then assign that to the variable name on the mediator. So that is uh, injection in a nutshell. Again, this is um, it's much better for you to refer to the, the frameworks used by robot legs, either uh, Swift suspenders or smarty pants. Uh, see how they've used this because there's a lot of additional utilities and a lot of performance uh, utilities for things such as caching um, or making sure that everything is looked up as quick as possible because this is probably the most expensive part of injection is having to uh, create these huge XML files or not files but XML objects uh, by describing these uh, by describing anything you're trying to inject into so uh, look into those to see proper ways of doing it and they'll be they're kind of hard to follow but now that you get the idea of injection hopefully that'll help um, but again I hope this has been a good introduction to how injection works